Okay, we're on page 10 in our packet, Law of Reflection. Page 10. There's a picture. You can see the angle of incidence, which is about 45 degrees, is equal to the angle of reflection. And waves always obey the law of reflection. Anytime they hit a barrier through which they cannot pass, waves will bounce off. And you can try this at home with your TV remote control and a mirror. You can bounce off the mirror to your TV using the law of reflection. There's an example of the flashlight. Uh, R is you did this in lab earlier in the week. A is you'll be doing this Friday in lab. There's Mr. Krebs on the pool table. And again, pool balls kind of behave like waves. They follow the angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. That's the law of reflection. Now, the next type of wave interaction is called refraction. Refraction. Refraction is the, the bending of waves as they enter a new medium due to the change in speed. Example, when light is traveling through the air and it hits the water, it will change speed and appear to bend. Optical illusions. Example, flowers and water. The stem appears to be bent. It's not bent, but the waves slow down in the water, creating refraction, which looks like bending. Also, lasers and water. Here you can see the beams of light in red moving very fast through the air. And as they hit the water, you can see the bending that occurs, the bending that occurs. There's another picture. You can see as it hits medium two, it bends due to the speed of the waves. This is called refraction, refraction. The prism refracts light. You see the spork. Um, the spork appears to be bent inside the cup. The spork. Really cool picture of water goblets. You can see that the, reflex, the refraction of light causes a really cool effect. Diffraction is a third wave interaction. And this is the bending of waves as they move around a barrier or pass through an opening. So as they go through an opening, they, they spread out, they kind of bend, they're in the same medium. They don't change mediums like refraction, but they're in the same medium and they bend. Here you can see waves diffracting around the barrier in the ocean through a narrow opening. Over the radio tower, um, they go over the mountain and they, and they bend. When you're standing outside of a room and you can hear somebody talking, the sound waves are leaving, going through the door opening and bending around. They're diffracting, same medium, diffracting, not to be confused with refraction. Okay, interference. The interference is the interaction between waves that meet. When waves arrive at the same place at the same time, interference occurs. Okay, example A, you can see two waves meet and they're causing a bigger wave with a larger amplitude. That would be constructive. And example B, two waves meet and they cancel each other out and there's essentially no amplitude. So there we have constructive and destructive interference. Standing waves, back to page 11. Standing waves, waves that appear to stand in one place even though they, it is really two waves interfering as they pass through one another. Sorry about that, minor disaster. We'll show you that with the slinky. When we send waves back and forth and then the slinky, instead of going down and back, appears just to stand in one place. Okay, resonance, very interesting here. The increase in amplitude of a vibration that occurs when external vibrations match the object's natural frequency. Every object has a natural frequency. When something matches that natural frequency, it can cause the object to shake. For example, a wine glass. If a singer can match the pitch or the frequency of the wine glass, their voice can cause the wine glass to shake. Windows shaking from loud music. Another example, your windows rattle when a car drives by. Here's a picture. Um, you can see on the frequency counter, 
right there. Um, the frequency is 769, which is also the frequency, natural frequency of the wine glass. That will cause the wine glass to shake, rattle, and roll. Examples of resonance, singing water goblet, resonating tuning forks. Um, there's a bridge that in 1940, November 5th, 1940, collapsed due to resonance. Uh, the wind, which was 40 miles per hour, that frequency of the wind matched the natural frequency of the bridge and caused it to twist violently and eventually crash into the river. We have video on that, you'll be seeing that in class. A's actually saw it already, R's you'll see it in a couple of days, if you're on task. And I thank you for listening.